called you here today to help alert the public about a serious concern surrounding water quality in the Douglas region. Routine testing and subsequent repeat tests have now verified low but unsafe levels of the E. coli bacteria in seven of the 13 reservoirs in the Douglas region. As reported, both Queensland Health and Council are advising residents in Port Douglas, Craig Lee, Mowbray, Rocky Point and Daintree Village to boil their drinking water. Uh, there's a long history of uh, positive testings in, these, um, in the water system up there. Um, obviously it, it revolves around the maintenance issue with the, with the reservoirs. Water that leaves the treatment plants um, is of the highest quality and, and pure. Um, this really is a case of the water having left the treatment plant is suddenly um, open to infection. The, the water testing the result I've seen shows a bacterial contamination of that reservoir water. Uh, that bacteria could have got there, for example, from bird droppings or flying fox droppings, for example. Uh, it shouldn't be unexpected if that water is open and exposed to the environment. Uh, however, as has been said, it's, it's imperative that people drink uh, clean, uh, purified water free from uh, bacterial contaminants, viral contaminants, parasite contaminants and so on. Um, routine testing has been done in the pipe network around the communities for a number of years um, since the report track was put in and post. Uh, we just uh, sampled the 13 reservoirs in the last week for the first time they've really been a sampled in that matter. So that's why we've, we've found uh, this bacteria, low levels of bacteria in the reservoirs in that testing. So that explains why all of a sudden it's, it's now. We just look, we look for it, I suppose, and we found so all this dirt, etc. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next immediate period is fixing up all those maintenance issues and trying to seal those areas up. So that's the sort of thing we're doing. Okay. The difference now is that we actually do now know that there, there are um, levels of E. coli bacteria in the reservoirs, and having knowing that, the Act quite categorically states that we have to take measures and notify them. That's why we're at this point right now. Can we find that? Been out uh, in the last day or so, and uh, I've had uh, some subsequent further tests. The, uh, we tested the water lines again and to find out that um, they, came back, they came back clear. Uh, the reason probably or could be that there is such a small uh, dose of level of bacteria in the, in the reservoirs that it would be very, very uh, lucky to actually, or unlucky to, to select a bit of water out of the main that has got one of the bacteria in it, uh, whereas in the reservoir they're in a closed system and you can test it. 